Hello everyone. Today we are discussing about the photolithography, a crucial technique in the PCB manufacturing. Photolithography plays an important role in the PCB manufacturing. An essential material in photolithography is a photoresist and it comes in the two types, negative photoresist and positive photoresist. Now let's explore negative photoresist and its impact on the process. Here is the view of the copper clade, the foundational material for PCB. Now we will apply the uh, negative photoresist on the copper clade as shown in the picture. Negative photoresist will harden when it is exposed to the light. To transfer the patterns on the PCB, we utilize our PCB layout design on a photo mask. In the photo mask layer, our PCB design as a transparent area. Hence, the light will be transferred from the transparent area to the photoresist. Once the light exposed on the photoresist, it will become the hardened. The light blue color in the picture indicates the hardened photoresist, while the remaining area represents the softened photoresist, which will be removed in the later stage of the PCB manufacturing. Now, let's shift our focus to the positive photoresist. Similar to the negative photoresist, we apply the positive photoresist to the copper clade material. Positive photoresist exhibits the opposite behaviors. When light falls on it, it becomes a softened. We are using our PCB layout design with a dark area in the photo mask layers. Hence, light passes through the transparent regions resulting in the softened area. Once light exposed on the photo mask layer, the dark pattern on the photo mask layers blocks the light. In the picture, you can see that dark blue color is the hardened photoresist and the remaining area is the softened photoresist. The softened photoresist will be removed in the later stage of the PCB manufacturing. Now let's compare both type of photoresist and their applications. Both negative and positive photoresist enable the transfer of the patterns onto the PCB but they exhibit a different characteristic. Choosing between the two depends on the specific requirements and considerations due to their respective pros and cons.